Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation on measuring advertising effectiveness. So in advertising, marketers measure the degree of effectiveness of a campaign's objectives and its performance. Such effectiveness can be measured with sales, brand awareness, brand performance, and so on. It's an attempt to measure whether the time, talents, and the money invested in an ad campaign resulted in attaining the goals of the advertiser. So when it comes to the essentials of effective testing, it establishes uh, communications objectives. Uh, you use a consumer response model. Uh, you need to use pre-test and post-test. Uh, you need to use multiple measurements to get a better uh, mix. And you need to understand and implement the proper research that you do. Here's some pros and cons on why to measure your advertising effectiveness. It can avoid a lot of costly mistakes, and you can evaluate alternative strat strategies in your plan. It can increase efficiency overall, and it determines if the objectives were achieved in your plan. Some disadvantages is the cost of measurement, and there can also be research problems um, as in bias. Uh, there can be disagreement on what to test and the objectives of creatives. And there's also a time disadvantage as well. The way that we measure the effectiveness of our advertising is to understand what the pulse of the consumer is at all times. So we're looking at measures in a traditional sense around what is the awareness of our brand, what is the consideration, what are the brand attributes that are being associated back with our company, and how do those get built up or broken down over time when we're active or not active in marketing. With digital advertising, one of the key benefits that we have is the ability to really look at customer satisfaction with the ordering process, the sales process, look at clickstream data, understand where they're coming, where they're going, um, what draws our consumers into our web properties, and then what possibly turns them off. So if they don't convert at the point of sale, to understand was it the offer, the product, the price, was it something about our site's performance? Just to really get a better sense of the overall experience that that consumer is having at any given point in time. So in measuring advertising effectiveness, we're going to be looking at what to test, where to test, uh, when to test, and how to test. So when it comes to what to test, uh, there's four factors. Uh, source factors is the effectiveness of a spokesperson being used. Message variable are both the message and the means by which it is communicated. Media strategies is uh, which media class generates the most positive results. And budgeting decisions are how much will be spent and where. When it comes to when and where to test, um, there are two times that you can measure for effectiveness, and that's with pre-testing and post-testing. Pre-testing can occur at any number of points, from as early as idea generation to rough execution of the campaign. It is a specialized field of marketing research that determines an ad's effectiveness based on consumer responses, feedback, and behavior. And you can see here that it includes lab, lab tests and field tests. Um, lab tests are when Lab tests are when uh, you bring people into a specific location and you're showing them the commercials. And field tests are um, done in, na in, natural, in, in a natural place. And uh, lab tests are high control, below realism, and have a testing bias, a high internal validity, and a low external validity. Field tests are, are the opposite. They're low control, but they have high realism. They're low internal validity and high external validity. So because they're opposites, it's a good idea to have a mix of lab and field tests, optimizing your research. When it comes to post-testing, it determines if the campaign is accomplishing the objectives set out at the beginning of sales. It provides either periodic or continuous research monitoring a brand's performance, including brand awareness, preference, product usage, and attitudes. Advertisers use post-testing to plan future advertising campaigns, so the approaches that provide the most detailed information are the most valued. 
when it comes to how to test, uh, you want to use PACT, which is the Positioning Advertising Copy Testing. It's standardized criteria by which to judge ads, and it's it was created by 21 of the largest ad agencies in 1982. Its objectives includes to improve research use for preparing and testing ads, uh, to provide a better creative product for the client, and to control the cost of TV commercials. Um, you need to provide measurements relevant to objectives of advertising. Uh, you need to require agreements on how the results are going to be used and provide multiple measures. When how to test, you need to be based on the model of human response to communications. Uh, consider multiple versus single exposure to the stimulus. Uh, require alternative executions to have the same degree of finish. Provide controls to avoid biasing effects of exposure context. Uh, you need to take into account basic considerations of sample definition and demonstrate reliability and validity as well. The measurement of communications has evolved massively uh, over the last few years. The analytics now are a lot more sophisticated. The sort of inputs, the data, the choices we have uh, to spend our media have grown uh, considerably. And what we need to try and do is to pull that all together. There's a massive pressure for very quick answers. As the sort of the speed of the world moves on, everybody wants everything to go with it. There is a risk that we've become too focused on the short term. And I, I think that's a risk because there is clear evidence that shows that long-term brand health creates much more resilience in a business. You can't really have just a short-term focus um, because you'll really only have a short-term existence. One of the risks I think we're facing in the industry with the growth of um, sort of superpowers like Facebook and Google is that they're pushing their sort of walled garden approach into analytics of course as well as into the media itself. That will only compound the issue that's already there in that it, it only allows us to look at the effectiveness of their own media within their own garden. I think there is a danger that we overvalue the things that we can measure most easily whether that is likes or clicks. We really need to make sure we're also looking at whether that campaign is efficient so has it paid back for itself and whether it's been effective has it driven growth for that particular brand and we mustn't get skewed by just looking at those short-term intermediary measures. Knowing that you've measured the right metrics is one of the most challenging things for marketeers today because the, the breadth of options for measurement is so vast. So the very best cases say we know how to drive sales in the short term but we also are building something that lasts over time. And here is the list of some of the sources that I used for this presentation. Thank you.